Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. Today we are making a beautiful Christmas centerpiece or you can use it as a Christmas door swag. So I'm going to show you both ways and you're going to be using two Dollar Tree candy cane frames to make this centerpiece or door swag. In the description box below, I will add a materials list for you. So you're going to need two candy cane frames from Dollar Tree. You're going to need some zip ties. And you're going to have to bend your candy canes a little bit to make them make the oval shape. So once you have them bent and they line up, you're going to want to take your zip ties and zip tie your two candy cane frames together. Now we found out that it works better to zip tie the two center wires so that you get it nice and secure where it does not move. You could spray paint your candy cane frames if you wanted to. So just zip tie your frames together so that they do not move. And you're going to need some 10 inch deco mesh. And there's my sweet little fur baby, or actually that's my daughter's sweet fur baby. But you're going to need some 10 inch deco mesh. And my deco mesh came from Walmart. And I had one new package and then I had a piece of a package I had already used some out of it. So you're going to need one full roll of the 10 inch deco mesh for this wreath. I started with the one that I had already opened and then opened the new one. And you're going to need some pipe cleaners and you'll want to cut your pipe cleaners in half. And you're just going to go to each crossbar, add a pipe cleaner. So you'll add a total of 12 pipe cleaners. Okay, now you're ready to start adding your 10 inch deco mesh. So you just let out a little and grab it tightly in your hand and you're going to thread it through to the back of the wreath and then twist the pipe cleaner around the deco mesh. Next, you're going to let out some more of the deco mesh and you're going to make your first poof roll your outer edges inward and make about a nine inch poof. Then go to your next pipe cleaner, press it down to the frame and give the pipe cleaner a twist around your deco mesh and leave your pipe cleaners facing upward. Same steps, make about a nine inch poof, roll your edges inward, make your poof, attach it to your pipe cleaner and fluff your loops. And you're going to do the same steps all the way around your oval wreath. You don't have to measure your poofs each time, but try to make them as close as you can to the same size each time. So you're just going to go all the way around and you could add a second layer of the 10 inch deco mesh if you don't think it's full enough. So that's always an option. So this is the way it looks with one layer of the deco mesh but I'm going to add more ribbon and deco mesh, so just wait, it, it will be full when I get finished. Okay, and this is the six inch deco mesh from Dollar Tree, and it's the white and it has the red stripe in it. And I'm basically going to do the same steps, just let out a little of my deco mesh, I'm going to thread it through to the back of the wreath, attach it in my pipe cleaner, and I'm just going to make poofs with it. So make sure you do not pull it too tight. Leave it loose and puffy, just like you did the 10 inch deco mesh. So you are using your same 12 pipe cleaners to add the white six inch deco mesh. So just add your deco mesh to the pipe cleaner, make a poof, go to the next pipe cleaner, until you have completed the whole oval. If you plan on doing like double layers of the red, double layers of the white, then you might want to leave your pipe cleaners whole and not cut them in half. 
And next I am adding some ribbon with wire and this is the 2.5 inch width ribbon with wire. And I'm just same steps. I just attached it in my pipe cleaner, go into the next pipe cleaner, make sure you're leaving your loops loose. Do not pull your ribbon tight. Same steps all the way around the oval and just try not to twist your ribbon. Try to make sure that it's nice and straight. So just go to the next set of pipe cleaners and just continue all the way around and leave it nice and loose and fluffy. Not too loose. Just try to make your loops about the same size each time. Okay guys, and for this one I tied three large bows. I did three loops on the left, three loops on the right, and I let out a tail for both of them. And this is the 2.5 inch ribbon with wire from Sam's Club. So I tied three bows. I put one at each end and then one in the center. Now you'll see in a little bit that the one in the center was almost covered with the sign that I added from Hobby Lobby that says Jesus is the reason for the season. So if you're making it as a door swag, one of your bows will almost be covered up. But you'll want to make three bows. Just keep it back and forth, back and forth, making your loops the same size on each side and keep it pinched tightly in your left hand. And then you'll want to have some floral stem wire close by to wrap around the center of your bow. Make sure you wrap your wire tightly around the center of your bow and then you're going to fluff your loops. Okay, next you're going to take your wires and you're gonna, going to thread it through your deco mesh and go all the way through your candy cane wreath form and go to the back and give it a few twists and cut off the extra wire and fold it down. And I made three bows, same steps. I just wired them on. The center one, I had to use the left and right wire I couldn't make it reach in the center, so I just wired it to each side of the wreath. And just cut off your extra wires and fold them down. And you can choose whatever color deco mesh and ribbon that you like. I just happen to be making this one for Christmas, but you can make these for any season or any holiday. So here's how it looks with the three bows and make sure you leave tails on each of your bows and then just fluff your loops. And if you're making the door swag, you might want to pick up a floral pick. And mine came from Hobby Lobby, and I just wired it on. And these are the cute pool noodle candies I made the other day. I will link this tutorial if you have not seen it. But I'm just hot gluing them on. I'm gluing them where there's a pipe cleaner and just letting it sit for a little bit and dry. So I believe I glued eight of the little pool noodle candies on. And then you'll want some of the Dollar Tree Christmas ornaments and some of the Dollar Tree poinsettias for this wreath too. So here's how it looks with the little candies and the ribbon and the deco mesh, but I'm going to add more things. And so I'm just taking the little shatterproof ornaments from Dollar Tree and I'm just hot gluing them on. And I believe I picked up three packages of the ornaments. So I just mainly glued them where the pipe cleaners were. I just kind of stuck them in and filled them filled it in. You can do clusters or you can do singles, whatever you like. And then I also added some red poinsettias and some white poinsettias that I purchased at Dollar Tree. And this is the tag if you're doing the door swag. It's $7.99 for the little Jesus is the reason for the season sign at Hobby Lobby. But you can get 40% off if you use your coupon. And so I just wired the sign on. And this is how it looked before I added the sign. But I just used the ribbon to connect the sign onto the wreath and then you could glue some pipe cleaners onto the back of the sign and then twist the pipe cleaners onto the candy cane wreath form to hold your sign in place. But this is how it looks as a door swag hanging on my door. I really like the way it looks and I love the meaning. Jesus is the reason for the season because he truly is. That's why we celebrate. So. This is how it looks as a door swag. And then next, I changed it up for a centerpiece. I added more of the 
poinsettias that I purchased at Dollar Tree. I just pulled the flowers off the end of the picks. So I picked up two bunches of the, actually I picked up three total bunches of the poinsettias and three bunches of the shatterproof ornaments. And then I also picked up three of the large shatterproof ornaments that are pictured right here from Dollar Tree. I picked up three of those. And so since I removed the sign to make it a centerpiece, I placed a silver ball on each end and the red one in the center. Just hot glued them in. And then I'm also adding some of the poinsettia flowers. I just kind of filled in wherever I thought it needed it on each side of the large Christmas ornaments. I added some on the side of the centerpiece. I just kind of looked and you know, wherever I thought it needed something extra, I added it. I also picked up three of the Dollar General placemats so that it would not scratch my table. So that's just a thought. If you happen to be close to Dollar General, they have some pl pretty red poinsettia placemats right now. So this is how it looks as a centerpiece. I just kind of curled the tails of my ribbon under and just made sure and fluffed my loops. So I like it either way. I like it as a centerpiece or a door swag, but I think I'm going to use it this time as a centerpiece on my table. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you like this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And thank you guys that always watch and comment and share. Y'all are just so sweet. Thank you.